Please like and subscribe to our channel and click the bell icon to get new video updates. Hey guys, my name is Ching. It sounds like Cha-Ching and you can call me that. <laughs> in, in exactly 28 days, I will be moving to Melbourne, the one in Australia, not the one in Florida. And I found out about this in June when my company told me that they will move there for a year. Um, and it was kind of one of those things, it's a big deal, only one person gets picked. And I rushed home and I told my parents. And my dad was on his couch at the time and his face planted in front of his laptop. And I saw him pull his head back, the white hair behind his ears peeking out a bit. And I already knew what he was gonna say. I don't think you should go. You should stay here and find a boyfriend. <laughs> you see, in China, where we're from, someone like me that is a woman, 30 years old and single, I am what's considered shen nu, or literally, leftover woman. And it doesn't matter that my parents have traveled around when they were young, when it comes to me, the generation gap is real. Um, I, however, did not want to put my life on hold for someone who did not exist. So I... <laughs> <laughs> so I began to plan my adventure in Australia, and it's as if the universe heard my parents calling. A couple weeks later, I met Adam. And Adam, well, he's perfect. Adam is this rare breed of engineer and athlete, and he's looking for something real. We talked on the phone every day, and he could make me laugh until my stomach hurt. And one day, when we talked about the visions we had for our lives, Adam said, unprompted, there's one thing I know for sure. I will never, ever have a long-distance relationship. I was wondering when to tell Adam about Australia, so I guess it made my life easier. <laughs> and after some back and forth, we decided to keep going because when you have something special, you try to make it work, and things continue to be perfect. I met his best friends, he sent picture of us, pictures of us to his mom, and I began to think about things like, what if I delay my trip for a couple months and we'll try to make this work? And Adam began to tell me about his future plans too, like the vacations he wanted to take next year. Morocco, Papua New Guinea, not once Australia. <laughs> and one day I just had to be like, hey man, what's going on? To which he responded, the one thing I know for sure, I will never, ever do long distance. That night I stayed home. I buried my face in my hands. A million thoughts rushed through my head. Could I have been more or better so he can change his mind? Should I stay? What if dad was right all along that this whole Australia thing was just a self-sabotaging scheme to turn away love? And I saw my dad getting up from his couch and I just knew what he was gonna say. Why can't you just listen and stay? And at that moment, he actually said, one year flies by. If this man doesn't even want to work with you on this, what are you doing? You are going to Australia. <laughs> and I took another good look at him, the white hair behind his ears still peeking out, and I knew that the biggest worry he has in life was for me to finally settle down. And yet at that moment, he wasn't treating me like a leftover woman. Instead, he was telling me, don't you put your life on hold, even for someone who does exist, even if he's perfect. I walked over and I gave him a hug and my dad barely knew how to give a proper hug back. So all he did was just 
put one arm around me and gently tap me on the back with his fingertips. <laughs> and it's okay that the hug sucked because at that moment, <laughs> at that moment, I knew two things for sure. One, I would never ever have a long distance relationship with Adam. <laughs> and two, I've never felt closer to my dad. Thank you.